Hello, my YouTube friend, Pop Comics here, and it's Christmas in June for me. <laughs> I have a ton of packages to go through, and this is going to be a ton of fun. All right, let's start going through these packages. Okay, I have a package here from eBay. It's a 1 in 25 ratio comic book. I paid $9.69. All right, let's open up this package. Looks like we have cardboard in the mailer, so that's good. And all right. Okay, and then we have Champions Outlaw number 2. I believe the 1 in 25 variant. Super awesome. I'm trying to knock out all the rare Miss Marvel variants that I can get right now. As long as the prices aren't jumping up because of the show. If they're like at the same price they have been for, let's say, the last six months. That's what I'm kind of aiming for. Very awesome, though. I think I got that one on a great price. All right, this is a limited comic book. It's a heroesonline.com exclusive. I thought it was a really cool cover. It was $17.98. All right, let's open this package and see what's inside. Okay, so this is a lot of cardboard protection. For one comic book, which is great, multiple sheets of cardboard. Okay, we have this really nice Heroes Con convention exclusive. Really love the artwork, and I just love the whole composition of it. Though it's a really fun comic book, so I decided I had to get it. Okay, this is an eBay purchase. I bought seven comic books for $10.95. Let's open it up and see what's inside. This is in a box. Uh, looks like bubble wrap and padding in the box. That's good. After the bubble wrap, they had them in a magazine bag, and then it looks like they're taped together with uh, packing tape, which oh, which is just on the outside. Okay, it looks like, uh, I mean, it was just a cheap lot with some interesting stuff in it, I think. So we have White Widow number four, a fun foil cover. Okay, oh, we got this. We have uh, Wayward Sons number one with a foil logo. We have uh, Naobi number one, really beautiful cover, gorgeous cover. And Naobi number one, a uh, J. Lee cover, which I think I have that one already. And then Naobi number four, another J. Lee cover, love that. I believe that's J. Lee, it's beautiful. And then uh, number four, the regular cover. Those are cool. And then uh, Green Arrow, the Wandering Year number one. So pretty awesome lot, I think, for the price I paid. Really happy with those. Okay, this is an eBay purchase. It's a 1 in 25 variant comic book. I paid $21.45. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, we're just in a Gemini mailer. Lots of Gemini mailers. Alright. And then it's dropped to a cardboard in there. So that's good. Okay, and then we have uh, Black Widow number 1 variant edition. I thought this was just a really beautiful work of art. So I had to have this issue. Uh, wasn't super cheap, but not too bad of a price for the variant. Awesome. Happy with that. Okay, this is sort of a Grail comic book. It's one comic book. I paid $815.10. Uh, I just grabbed it a couple days ago. It's a comic book I've been eyeing for a few months. I really wanted maybe even a year. But uh, the price has been jumping around seven to $800. Uh, but then I saw news of a show that they're working on. I was like, I got to grab it now before it jumps. So I did a buyout as soon as I saw that news and uh, I don't know if they're going up yet, but I suspect they will go up in value. All right, let's open this box and see what's inside. Okay, so this was all bubble wrapped inside here. Uh, I've been eyeing this comic book for months, even years. And uh, like there's other comic books from this era that the rare variant just went up so much in value. So I kind of was afraid I had strong FOMA on this one. So it's not like the most amazing cover for a first appearance, but it's definitely rare. We have Amazing Spider-Man number four, the first appearance of Silk. It's the like one in 10 variant. It's been going for seven to 800 for months. So I knew the price at $800 I bought it was, was kind of what it's been selling for. As soon as I saw news that Sony was developing a TV show, I think for Silk, I was like, you know what, I have to get it. So I decided to grab one. I don't want to have the FOMO that I had because I never grabbed the first Miles Morales variant. And uh, never got the Miss Marvel variant. And both of those are like through the roof. So I like Silk. I figured I'd try to get this while it's still at a price that is like expensive, but not through the roof expensive. Now I just got to figure out how to pay for it. <laughs> All right. Awesome. This is an eBay purchase. I paid $23.50 for one comic book. All right. Let's open it up and see what's inside. They had it in cardboard in the box. So that's great. I love a double cardboard. Okay. So we have Bobby Shelby number one. An early Harvey comic book, I believe. And it's in gorgeous condition. It's got that uh, stone print style. I forget how you call it, but just the way it looks is amazing to me. It's 
it looks in really high grade. So yeah, they called it a very fine and uh, it was a file copy. It was like a giveaway comic book or something. I guess for the bicycle company. And uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. I mean, the pages are slightly green off white. So it's not like white pages, but the rest of the issue is in fantastic shape. I guess it's not Harvey. It just has that Harvey look to it. Absolutely love this issue. Looks awesome. Okay, this is another eBay purchase. It's a 1 in 50 ratio comic book. I paid $14.95. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So this is, they have it in a Gemini, which is always good. And uh, looks like they just have an invoice and some extra stuff. Okay, we have Marauders number one, 1 in 50 variant. Uh, really awesome cover. Great price. I love getting 1 in 50s for under 20 bucks. So that is awesome. Okay, this is a uh, package of 10 comic books. I think it was a couple of lots I bought on eBay. I paid $20 total for it. Let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, it looks like they did a cardboard box inside the flat rate mailer, so that's good. Flat rate mailer by itself is not so good, but as long as you reinforce it with the Gemini, it's a great way to ship. Okay, and then in here we have some Tevik. Oh yeah, these are just fun uh, Teen Titan covers that the lot was cheap, so that's why I grabbed it. So we have Teen Titans number 22. Just a really fun cartoony cover. Teen Titans 23. I believe they're all the same artists for these kind of cartoony covers. Uh, Teen Titans 24. Teen Titans 30. Uh, Teen Titans 29. Uh, uh, different artist, but beautiful cover. Love that one. Uh, Teen Titans 32, another awesome cover. Uh, Teen Titans 33, love that cover too. Teen Titans 35, variant cover, deceased cover. Uh, Teen Titans 43. Teen Titans 46, Peach Momoko cover. I do have this one already though. And I think I could get the $5 out of it. So that gets me back a huge chunk of my money for the lot. Very cool lot. I'm actually really happy with those. Okay, this is a single comic book I bought for $12. Let's open up and see what's inside. This guy is it's got like some foam and cardboard inside the photo mailer. I do kind of like these photo mailers, especially if you reinforce it with cardboard. It's a pretty good way to ship comics. And they put the comic in a little bit of foam. With a little scotch tape, that should be easy to get off, I think. Yeah, pretty professional shipping. All right, we have this really beautiful Spider-Gwen number four Mark Brooks variant cover. Gorge's cover, I think this was a con exclusive. I'm going to look at the back cover. No, nope. I cannot tell. It does not say. So not 100% sure, but either way, it's a really awesome cover. I love it. Okay, this is a variant comic book I've been eyeing. I believe it's a 1 in 25, and it's been going for about like 125 to 150, but it's a Ms. Marvel variant. And uh, I, that first episode I watched, absolutely loved it. I love Miss Marvel, so I decided to start grabbing some of the variants that I don't have if their price is still good, if they hadn't jumped yet. And I feel like this one actually came down because I got it for $91 shipped. So I felt like it was like $30 to $50 less than I've been seeing. Hopefully it's not damaged or anything. It looked like it was like a very fine near mint copy at least. So uh, I'm excited to have it. It's an awesome cover. All right, let's open this package and see what's inside. Okay, so it looks like they put a Gemini in a bubble. No, it's just cardboard. Cardboard inside, uh, no, it is a Gemini mailer, like, or some other brand, I think, because it's folded funny. All right, let's see what it looks like. And then in there, they put it in cardboard. So it's triple package, very good packaging done. And they used, uh, I think, packing tape with little, they made little folds, so they should be able to open this pretty easily. Yeah, very, very nice packaging. I'm happy with that. Oh yeah, I've really wanted this comic book for a while now since it came out, but it's always been kind of expensive. So we have the Magnificent Miss Marvel number one. I believe it's a one in 25 Babs Tar variant. Awesome comic book. So happy with that. Beautiful. I love Babs Tar artwork. I love this cover. So happy to get it. And I think the price I got it for was actually a really fair price right now. Who knows what's going to happen? The show's really good. And if it keeps being good, people might start going a little bit crazy. Or maybe it'll die down and it'll be, you know, I overpaid for it. Either way, I'm happy to have it, though. All right, awesome. 
All right, this is another eBay purchase. It's a 1 in 25 ratio variant. I paid $15.89. All right, let's open up this package. This is, uh, it looks like a cardboard box with cardboard inside. All right, this is awesome. So we have a Miss Marvel Beyond the Limit number one Terry Dotson variant. And, uh... Yeah, $15 for that. Great price. Really happy with that. I love getting kind of the rare comic books for a decent price. Happy with that. Okay, this is an eBay purchase. I paid $10.23. It was two auctions. It's a 1 in 100 ratio and a 1 in 25 ratio of comic books that are kind of lower in desire, but with really cool covers. So I won both auctions really cheap. It was $10.23 total shipped. So I'm really excited to open this up. All right, let's open up this package. It looks like inside the Gemini mailer, we have Tevik and an envelope. Pretty well packaged, happy with that. So yeah, so we have two comic books here. Uh, okay, we have Captain Marvel number 30. I believe this is a one in 25 Terry Dotson variant. Uh, beautiful cover, and for that price, I just feel like the price of Captain Marvel stuff is kind of depressed right now. But the beautiful Terry Dotson cover, really happy with that. And then we had the Eternals 1 in 100 Jenny Friesen cover. Like this, I feel like should be a much higher valuable comic book, but I got it for so cheap. So I'm actually really happy with both of these. Amazing comic books for a great price. Okay, let's open up this package. It's four comic books I paid around $75 for. All right, let's see what's inside. Okay, so it looks like they put cardboard inside a photo mailer. So that's pretty good, pretty good packaging. Okay, so this was three different lots, four total comic books. So we have a uh, Carrie Drake Detective number 25. I've been enjoying buying these Golden Age Harvey comic books this year. This one looked like it's pretty decent shape, although now that I'm looking at person, it does look like there might have been a water stain there. I'm going to take a closer look at this. Okay, so they call this one a fine, very fine, which uh, I don't know with the water stain. I mean, look how bad. I mean, other than that, though, it actually looks really nice. Uh, no, I don't think that's a water stain. That was probably just... I'm not sure what's going on here because I don't really see the stain in the paper. That's just very weird. It might just be a printer error. Maybe just a little dirty. I don't know. It's actually in pretty decent shape. Really cool looking cover. I'm actually really happy with that. I paid uh, $34 for that one. Okay, so next comic book we have is Katie Keene, number 59. They list it as a very good find, 4.5 to 5.0. Uh, I won it for $32 shipped. I did see this, like, stain or color touch going on there. Not 100% sure what's up with that, so we're going to take a look. All right. Tape, tape on bags. I always pull the tape off so I do not damage it. Okay. All right. Cover's really nice. This is a really nice. Uh, if it wasn't for that, it would be a pretty high grade. It looks like a water stain of some sort because I see some weird coloring going on there. Maybe it's a water color touch or it might just be a. Uh, I think something just spilled on it, like an ice pop or something. <laughs> Not 100% sure, but I'm actually really happy with this copy because it's in really nice shape. If it wasn't for that, I think it would be like a 6.0, which is pretty amazing for Katie Keene. Maybe a 5.5. Five. There's a little bit on the back that's like a little tear here and the stain. With the stain, it's probably still like a 4.5 though. I'm actually really happy with it. Beautiful copy. Okay, and then... I won two lowest lane issues for $16. And they're listed as five to sixes. So let's see what's inside here. Oh, this one is super taped up. Uh, no, I guess they put the two individual issues into a separate bag. I'm gonna remove this. So we have lowest lane number 90, really nice cover. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's probably like a five or six. Just some spine ticks, but no major damage on there. That is awesome. And then lowest lane number 110. This one looks in pretty decent shape. Maybe even a 7, 7.5. Because I don't see any major damage going on there. So yeah. Really happy with this three auctions. Very awesome stuff. Okay, I went on a little bit of a splurge. This vendor had a lot of really cool store exclusives and variant comic books. Uh, relatively cheap. Between like 2 and $8 each, I think. 
It was 38 comic books a total. I paid $183.92. So it's like four to five dollars each. I don't think there's anything of great value in here. There's no key issues or anything. It's just a lot of beautiful covers. All right, let's open this box and see what's inside. Okay, so they put all the comic books in the big bubble wrap brick. Okay, let's see what we got in this box. I think it's gonna be a lot of my favorite artists or just like really awesome covers. Okay, so we have Immortal Red Sonia number one. Beautiful black and white David Nakayama cover with the red logo. I love black, white, and red covers. They're some of my favorites. Uh, we have a Lisner Red Sonia cover. I'm not sure of the issue, but that one's really awesome. Uh, and I think a lot of these are like 1 in 5, 1 in 10, 1 in 25. Uh, okay, we have Unholy Vampirella Draculaura Peach Momoko cover. That one's really cool. Like the border, I really like that. Uh, Lady Death number two. Two, a Dawn McTeague cover. Love Dawn McTeague artwork. Uh, Unholy Vampirella. Not sure the number, but another Peach Momoko cover. That's awesome. Uh, Amanda Connor drawn. Uh, is it a Deja Thoris cover? Not 100% sure, but that's awesome. Another Unholy cover with Peach Momoko artwork. Uh, Unholy cover with Artjum artwork. That's beautiful. Uh, not sure the artist, but that's a really nice Red Sonia cover. Love that. And then uh, Red Sonia, Betty, Veronica. I like the mashup. That's an awesome uh, Virgin variant. And I think all these were, oh, like 2 to $10. Uh, there might be one more expensive one, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, the Forest Giant's Daughter, number one. I just thought that was a beautiful cover. Uh, did I order two copies? I might have accidentally order two copies of that one. <laughs> That happens, especially when the prices are cheap. You're just not even thinking. Yeah, so I must have ordered that by mistake. But I have a feeling I probably paid less than cover price. So I'm sure I can get my money back easily on that. Stack number two. Okay, we have uh, Mars Attacks Red Sonia number four. This is such an awesome cover. I love the moon covers. Uh, just awesome composition. I need to get all the comics in the series because they're all a ton of fun. That one's awesome. Uh, we got Unsacred number two. Uh, Merker and Delfo cover. I forget which variant that is, but I wanted that. Uh, Deep Beyond, number one, Peach Momoko cover. The Invincible Red Sonia, number one, Amanda Connor cover. The black and white. Uh, not sure the artist, but I just thought that was a really pretty cover. Unsacred, number three, the Merka and Delfo sketch cover. Uh, Bell Beast Hunter, number six. Not sure the artist, but that's a cool cover. Uh... Lunex, I forget the artist's name, but that cover is gorgeous. Really love that cover. Uh, Dan Parent, one of those Vampirella, Betty and Veronica mashup series. That's awesome. I believe it's a Purgatory cover. I just thought it was a really beautiful cover. That's an awesome cover. Okay, and then the final stack in this box, we have uh, Red Sonia Chaos number one. Beautiful black, white, and red cover. Love those. Another Dan Parent, Vampirella, Red Sonia, Betty Veronica matchup cover. Love those. Uh, Vampirella, Deja Thoris, Virgin Variant. That's a beautiful cover. Unsacred number two, Amerka and Delfo sketch cover. Uh, Unholy, another Peach Momoko cover. Love those. Uh, I think this is a Derek Chu Barbarella cover. Awesome cover. Love that one. Uh, Peach Momoko, Virgin Variant. This one might have been a little bit more, but that one's awesome. Uh, Mirka and Delfo Red Sonia cover. I thought that was cool. I didn't know she did a Red Sonia cover, so I had to get that. Uh, Hell Witch number one. I just thought it was a beautiful cover. And, uh, oh, let's flip this. Uh, White Widow number two. Awesome cover. Uh, not sure what issue, but a really awesome Vampirella cover. And, uh, I forget what comic this was, but I just thought the cover was really beautiful. A Rosebish, Vampirella, Dracula, and Holy cover. Awesome cover. Love Rosebish stuff. Uh, not sure the artist, but I just thought that was a beautiful cover. Another Rosebish cover, Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. And uh, I forget the artist, but this is a 1 to 50 variant. I thought it was just really beautiful. All right, that was a lot of fun. I really love buying kind of offbeat, but really beautiful looking variant covers for a good price. Relatively cheap. All right, awesome. Okay, this is a package of two comic books. I paid $21.50. Let's open it up. Okay, we got two comics in here. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, okay. These are possibly for Thomas. I just have to double check mine. We have Dark Horse Presents, number one, first appearance of Concrete. Absolutely love Concrete. 
awesome key issue. They list it as a fine, but it looked like it was nicer than a fine. I think it's definitely a very fine. And then we have uh, Inferior 5, number one. Again, I'm going to double check this versus the one I have already. I think this one, uh, the list says it's very fine. I don't think it's very fine. It's probably like a fine, fine plus. Still a very cool issue. Yeah, so those are really cool. Really happy with those. Okay, this is one comic book. I paid $65.46. I forget what's inside, but if I pay $65, it's going to be a fun comic book, I think. All right, let's open it up. Okay, let's see what's in here. All right, this is really sweet. We have team number 28. Uh, has a pencil. I'm going to take it out of the bag. just want to see the condition because it looks relatively good. Maybe slightly browned or yellowed. Uh, yeah, the surface is nice. No major creases. A little bit of a chip out the back. Page quality is maybe slightly off-white, but not bad. It's actually pretty decent. Yeah, I think there's a solid, like, ooh, four to five. Maybe a five. Oh, yeah. That's a really nice copy. I'm really happy with it. Okay, this is a package of 22 Archie comic books. I paid $20.88. Let's open it up. Okay, it looks like they just uh, used a lot of bubble wrap and made a brick inside, so that's good. Okay, and we have a pile of Archie comic books. I think I'm actually kind of running low in my shop right now on Archie comic books. So I might do like a shopping spree looking for lots with some Golden Age mixed in or some awesome Silver Age or things I want for my own collection. And then all the duplicates for my shop. So I might do that pretty soon. Uh, Life with Archie number 132. Awesome cover. It's in great shape except for one really bad crease right there. Uh, Pep 269, a beautiful cover. Love that one. Uh, Life with Archie, number 125. Sort of a creepy cover. Love it. That one's awesome. A little bit damaged, but still awesome. Uh, Free Comic Book Day, Archie, number one. Riverdale, number one. Uh, Pep 229. Uh, it's got some crease in it. Other than the creasing, it would have been better shape. Uh, but, you know, usually when I buy lots like this, I am trying to look for 12 cent copies. Or cool newer issues like this one, Archie number 27. That's a beautiful cover. Uh, free comic book day, Adam Hughes run. Archie 29, also a nice cover. Archie number one variant cover. I don't think I have that one. Uh, Archie 28, newer series. Uh, Life with Archie number 181. I do really like the Life with Archie ones because they're more of like a action pack kind of comic book. Uh, Archie 228, that one's in pretty decent shape. Archie 701, beautiful cover. Uh, Life with Archie 159. Life with Archie 167, that one's not too bad. Awesome cover. Life with Archie 185, awesome cover. Uh, Jughead 193. Uh, the World of Archie. Was that number 237 and number 456? And, oh, there's some duplicates, so that'll be easy. <laughs> I just keep the nicest one and I'll have two for sale and I probably could get like two bucks out of that. All right, pretty cool. All right, this is two comic books. I won from the collectorscomics.com. They had an auction like a month ago. And uh, I just did some low cheap bids on a couple 9.8s. Uh, nothing super special like key or value wise, but they both have beautiful covers. I paid $79.70. So with shipping, I think that won them for like $26 a piece, but with shipping was another like $15 each, I think. Or like $14 each. So I paid about $40 a comic book. Which is not too bad. Just, I mean, grading and cost alone was like a third to half of that. All right, let's open this box and see what's inside. All right, so this is the second time I've walked from Collector's Comics. And their packing job is always fantastic. I don't think either of these slabs are super valuable or anything, but I just love the covers. We have the Joker number five, which I already have, I think, a few copies. But a 9.8, why not? Just to have it, because it's beautiful. And then uh, this one I don't think I had yet, but it's a Batman 5. Uh, the Yoon variant cover, just a really, really awesome cover. Love that one. So yeah, 40 bucks each is probably more than I normally would want to spend on some comic books, but I just felt like bidding on the auction just to check it out. And I won them. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to win them for $26 each, but that's what I did, plus shipping. So it was like $40 with shipping. Awesome. Okay, this is a mycomicshop.com haul. It's 48 comic books. I paid $231.66. I with my comic shop, what happens is as I'm looking up stuff or I'm looking for things, if I see something I like that I think is a decent price, I throw it in my cart and I kind of forget about it. And then once after, ooh, you know, once I feel like there's enough in the cart, so this might have been like four months, five months of putting stuff in the cart, 
I'll put an order in. And if something gets removed in my car, I'm not worrying about it because usually I try to find stuff cheaper than my comic shop. But occasionally they have something really cool for like two or three bucks. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to find that cheaper, especially with shipping costs. On eBay, it's going to be $5 to ship one comic book. So you can't really get it cheaper. So uh, I think this is going to be fun. A lot of really fun covers. All right, let's open this box and see what's inside. This box did get a little of a dent on the corner. So hopefully we're okay. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. All right, my comic shop for the win again. Okay, if you can see on the corners, they put foam. So even if the corner got dinged, it doesn't touch the comic itself. Very good. All right. All right, first stack. Very well packaged. Very happy to see them arrive in good shape. Uh, we have Thought Bubble. Uh, I'm not sure the number, but this is a Babs Tar cover. It's kind of like obscure. I paid $2 for it. So I love Babs Tar. This is the kind of thing I usually end up buying on my comic shop. I like find these weird things and I just, for $2, I'm like, I'll order that, but I don't want to make an order for just $2. So I put it in my cart. And eventually when I think there's enough stuff, I place an order. Uh, we have Spider Woman number five, the Peach Momoko variant. Gorgeous cover. Love that one. Uh, Skybound X, the 1D cover. This is the first appearance of Clementine. This is her on the cover. I thought the video game was pretty cool. So I think when they do a series with her in it, I think these comics will pop. So I think I bought all the different cover variants except for the common cover, which I have a bunch already. Uh, we have Overwatch Tracers London Calling number four. Uh, I bought all of these because Babs Tard did the interior work on these, which, you know, I love her artwork. It's like, I love this cover too, though, because it has kind of like old school, the way it's printed. But in the interior is all Babs Tar artwork. And I really like the way she draws. It's really fun and whimsical. So I was just like, yeah, I gotta get all those. Especially I paid $2.90. No, yeah, $2.99 for that comic book. So that was awesome. And then we got uh number two. I paid $2.40. That's our interior artwork. Uh Sheena, Queen of the Jungle number five, the Rose Bish cover for four bucks. Fantastic four antithesis number one, the Art Adams variant. Love that cover. Gorgeous. I paid five for that. Uh, Marauders number one, a Peach Momoko cover, five bucks. Uh, Overwatch number five, I paid three twenty. That's our interior artwork. Uh, Sheena number three, the Rose Bish cover, four bucks. Uh, Vampirella Red Sonia number two, a Bab Star cover. That's cool. I didn't know she did a bunch of Red Sonia covers, so I'm actually really happy with that. Uh, Teen Titans number forty-seven, Bab Star cover. I paid two bucks for that. That is cool. Uh, Justice League 37. I think this is a ratio variant. I paid $6.50 for that. Like a 1 in 15 or 1 in 25, I think. Uh, Justice League 39, the Babs Tar variant. Love that one. Paid $4.20. Uh, Obi-Wan number 1, the Peach from Moco variant. Paid 4 bucks for that. Draculina number 3, the Rose Bish cover. Paid $4. Uh, Sheena number 4, the Rose Bish cover. Paid 4 for that. These are all awesome, awesome covers. Love them. Okay, we have Skybound X, the J cover. I paid five bucks. Again, it's Clementine's first appearance. So her on the cover, I think this will be in demand. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one. I think it's a ratio variant. Vampirella Red Sonia number three. Not sure why I grabbed it other than it's like a cool cover. Uh, Overwatch number one. Now this is actual Bab Star cover. With interior artwork, that one's awesome. Love that one. Uh, Skybound X number one, the H cover. It's a black and white variant. Luke Clementine on the cover. I paid 10 for that. I figure I'm just going to grab all the covers, just speculate a little bit. Uh, although I probably won't sell them if they go up. I just want to have them in case they go up. Uh, Draculina number 2B, the Rose Bish cover. Love that. I paid a four for that. Uh, Marvel Voices number one. I think this is a Jaehyung Lee. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but beautiful cover i just love the way he renders her face she's really pretty love that one supergirl woman of tomorrow number four a rose bish cover this is one of my favorite covers from last year love that one uh future state gotham number six rose bish cover really enjoy her artwork it's just really fun i like it's like angular and interesting jacqueline number one rose bish cover uh justice league 25 i think this is a ratio variant i paid four bucks for that I like sometimes on uh, my comic shop, I look to see if they have any cheap, like one in 15s or one in 25s. Because four bucks, why not? It's kind of a rare comic book. Uh, and then Overwatch, Tracer London Calling, number three. 
Uh, again, Bavisar did the interior artwork. Okay, those are amazing. Okay, next deck. We have Red Sona 20, Bavistar cover. Love that cover. Uh, we only find them when they're dead, number two. I paid two dollars sixty cents for that. Oh, I paid three twenty for that one and two forty for that one. I forget if I did the prices. I just thought this was a really cool looking cover. Uh, Sheena number three, Rose Bish cover, paid three ninety nine. Uh, Skybound X, the one F cover. So this is the first appearance of Clementine. She's not on the cover on this one, but I grabbed it anyway. Seven bucks for that. Uh, Spider Woman number twenty, a Peach Momoko cover. I paid four for that. Uh, Overwatch number five, I paid two thousand ten cents. That's our interior artwork. Uh, Vampirella Red Sonia number five, awesome Babs Tar cover. I love that cover. Uh, Overwatch number one, Babs Tar interior artwork. Uh, this one, I absolutely love this cover. We have Miss Marvel Beyond the Limit number five, the Sabine Rich cover. Awesome cover. It does look like there's like a little printer error right there, so I might have to get another copy, but that's okay. Absolutely love Sabine Rich's artwork, and I just think this is such a great piece. Uh, Skybound X number one with Clementine on the cover. I paid seven for that one. Her first appearance again. Uh, Justice League number 21. A really cool uh, J. Lee cover. Love that cover. Uh, Civil War 2 number zero. I think it's a ratio variant. Uh, Miss Marvel. I'm trying to grab all the Miss Marvel variants I don't have at the moment. A uh, really awesome Noto cover. Uh, Future State Gotham number three. Rose Bish cover. Love that. Uh, Overwatch, Tracer London Calling, number two. Really fun cover. Again, Babs Tart Interior. Uh, Skybound X, number one C variant. This one was five bucks with Clementine on the cover. So I think the ones with her on the cover will end up being the ones with the most value. And then one more small little stack of comics here. We have Future State Gotham, number five. Another awesome Rose Bish cover. This is, I think, one of my favorite ones out of the whole batch. Vampirella Red Sonia, number one. A beautiful Babs Tart cover. Absolutely love that one. Uh, Marauders number two. I think this is a ratio variant. I paid ten seventy five, so I'm guessing that was probably like a one in twenty five. Beautiful cover. And then uh, one more Skybound X. Uh, I paid twelve seventy five, so that was the most expensive one. Uh, but again, first appearance of Clementine. So I think there's future value potential in that. I just I decided to buy a full set just in case, and I've bought a couple of the regular ones for like cheap, like two bucks a piece, just to have extras in case the value does go up. Okay. Really happy with that order. Lots of awesome covers. All right, this is an awesome, fun package from my friend Thomas in Argentina. Uh, we've been trading back and forth, so he's been finding me like Ziggy stuff and cool comic books from Argentina, and I'm sending him back key issues that he's looking for from the U.S. All right, I'm excited to get into this box. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so there's within that box, there's individual packaged up stuff. Uh, first thing we have is a Kwame Ziggy playing card set or card set. Uh, this one's pretty common, though. I actually have a few of those. I think every person I mentioned that I like Ziggy that are from Argentina end up getting me one of those. So I probably have like six of them. <laughs> Very common. It's the one thing that's super common. Oh, okay. I think these are just a couple throw-in figures. He threw in a few last time, which I missed out until I was double-checking all my bubble wrap. Okay, so we have just a couple of cheap plastic figures from argentina but we have batgirl and superman that's actually really neat you know it's kind of like army men but superheroes and i think these are from argentina so that is actually extra neat that's cool he's been giving me a couple little extra plastic ones with each shipment okay brick one looks like it's a whole bunch of ziggy cards oh and some other stuff okay this is gonna be fun okay so we have a whole bunch of packs of these uh Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle al sticker album sticker cards. These are cool. He was saying that in uh, Argentina, they didn't really have trading cards as much as they had sticker album cards back in the 80s, 80s and 90s. So he got me a stack of those. Those are cool. I think I'm going to end up trying to sell a few in the shop just to see if they sell well. And then a few will go into my collection. This is a stack of... I think these are all Ziggy related items. I think. Let's see. Kind of all bundled in here. I'm gonna pull everything out. Then everything is well protected. It's gonna just take me a few minutes to get through it. <laughs> okay, first things first, we have a oh a big card. I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> uh but it's super cool with the super ziggy on the back. Alright, I love just the giant size of that. That's super cool. Uh okay, we have another greeting card. Okay, that's really nice. Uh don't see the year, but I'm thinking most of these are mid-80s. 
And we have, uh, oh, this one's fun. It's like a foil card, graduation card. Oh, it's foil inside as well. Yeah, these are awesome. I love getting Ziggy stuff from Argentina because it's, it's, it's like familiar but different. All right, that's a lot of fun. Okay. Oh, and I think this envelope actually goes to that right there. Okay. I gotta make sure I'm not missing pieces. Okay, this next stack is a lot of awesome uh, packages of stickers. These are name tag stickers. These ones look, oh, a little bit more bootleggy. So I don't even know if these ones are official. No, I guess they're official. I think that's the what American Greenings is called in Argentina. That is super neat. Okay. This, the artwork looks a little bootleggy. And then we have stickers. Just a regular sheet of stickers. These look like U.S. stickers, like the ones I've seen in the U.S. But uh, it's printed in Argentina. That is actually really neat. Okay, and then we have another package of stickers. Oh, I really like these. These are super cool. In the U.S., I think these would be carded on cards. Okay, and then we have another sticker. These look more like the bootleggy kind. <laughs> like, these are cool, though. I really like these. Okay, those are neat. And, uh, okay, we have more the same, I believe. So it looks like there's some... No, these are different, actually. Are these different than the first one? Uh, yeah, no, these are three different... Oh, okay, same stickers, just they go in different order. Like, uh, they don't all match up. These two sort of match up. Just this one has a planet on it. And yeah, okay, but that's super cool. I would want an example of each one, however it's packaged. Oh, and one more of those. Okay, those stickers are super cool. I think a lot of the stuff you picked up at a uh, local convention. Okay, and then we just had a piece of paper that looks like someone had, I guess they taped it to the wall at some point. Okay, and then we have a little bundle here of, it looks like like bookmarks and little cards. So these are just uh, just a little teeny card. Teeny, uh, I don't know if it's like a bookmark or just like a place mark for a person. A couple of mini cards. Those are neat. Another mini card. A few mini cards. I like this one where he's got the Explorer outfit going on. And some more mini cards. Those are neat. Yeah, I love all the stuff. Oh, and then a whole bunch of uh, bookmarks. Okay, that is sweet, actually. Added to my Ziggy bookmark collection. Just a whole pile of them. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of these really awesome bookmarks. Oh, I love these. I wonder how much these end up costing them. <laughs> like, I don't know if this stuff is cheap. Usually when I see the listings, they seem to be relatively cheap. But uh, I don't know if these were like, you know, 2 $3 a piece. Or if you just got a whole bundle of them cheap. But these are amazing. I love these. I think I have a couple of these actually in English. So that's neat that they reused the design. Okay, we have uh, just a whole bunch of these really cool bookmarks. I love these. Okay, those are all really awesome. And then he threw in a couple of, I think these are comic cards. Just some extra ones from the Marvel set. Thought those are a lot of fun. And a couple of death metal cards. I guess it's a new earth set. Those are neat. Okay, and then we have a brick of comic books from Argentina. Okay. Oh. Gotta move these all to the side so I can put the comics there. Okay, and then we have this stack of comic books. Okay, we have number one. These are amazing. What I really like about these are they're like an oversized, very familiar images because I know all the comic books, but pretty, oh, look, like, oh, that's a cool G.I. Joe ad in there. That's actually kind of neat. Look at the big explosion. Yeah, this is super, super duper neat to me. So, but it's like bigger so I can enjoy the artwork more and it just, it's a little bit different. Very much the same, a little bit different. I love them. Number four. Uh, number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Uh, number ten. I think one of these he got 
for me. So I'm going to end up having a duplicate for sale, I believe. Number 11, number 12, and that might be the full run of those, actually. Uh, okay, then he got this cool uh, Luke King, number 21. So it's Luke Cage, uh, first appearance of Black Mariah, I believe. But the Argentinian version, that's super cool. That one's going into my collection. But then he also got two for my friend Sean, uh, which oh, I'm kind of jealous. I kind of want to keep them, but I promised Sean I would trade these to him. So we have Black Panther 34 and 32. I think these are actually part of the Spider-Man line. But yeah, those are super neat. I love international comic books. I would love to collect a lot more of that kind of stuff. All right, thank you, Thomas. I appreciate the trade. All right, this is an eBay purchase. I paid $80.16 total. It's two books. I want them for $35 each plus shipping, so it became $80. Um, these I looked up after I bought that really awesome collection last weekend, and it's a couple of Nick Cardi items that he autographed. I thought it was super cool that I could buy a couple books that he signed for 40 bucks a piece. Let's open up this package and see what's inside. All right, I thought these books were really cool. I got them for a great price. We got Nick Cardi comic strips, which reprints his daily comic strips. And then the art of Nick Cardi, which I guess is just more of his like painted stuff or more modern stuff, maybe. Not 100% sure, but I'm about to look through these really quickly with you guys. Okay, so this one is a special signed edition. So I believe every single one is signed by him. And oh, it comes with paperwork. Alright, All right, so this is just a thing talking about buying more copies, I guess. Let's look inside. So page one, I believe, is signed by him. Yeah, that looks like a, a pen signature. And then, uh, so that is super cool. And this is just showing, I guess, some of his older work. Uh, oh, Teen Titans. So these are just like all the sketches of his stuff. Uh, some painted stuff. Oh, yeah, this is super cool. Oh, some fun uh, magazines I might have to look out for. Yeah, I absolutely love his artwork. I think it just drawn really well. I love the compositions of them. So yeah, this book is super cool. I'm looking forward to kind of like reading through it and seeing if there's anything that I don't know about that I need to pick up. Oh, also there's a forward by Mark Evner who helped write Gru. So I thought that was super cool as well. Okay, and then uh, so we have the Nick Cardi comic strips, which was also signed by him right there so that's super cool and this just reprints i believe uh well there's some there's an interview with them but yeah it reprints a bunch of the daily comic strips which uh maybe not the best reproduction they're slightly blurry sometimes you get reproductions that just don't look that good but it's still gonna be a lot of fun for me to go through all this and i want to read all the interviews and all the different things okay th yeah this is super cool really happy with that awesome Okay, this is a package of 26 Archie comic books. I paid $28.49. Let's see what's inside. Uh, just a little bubble wrap on top. Uh, not super packaging, but not terrible either. So these were like around a dollar ten each. So let's see what we have. Uh, okay, Junkhead 138. The bag looks kind of old, but... Yeah, this is like a really nice copy. This is probably like a... Very fine minus, maybe? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. For $1.10, that was actually a good price. For a Silver Age Archie in that condition, probably 8 to 10 bucks if I were to sell it. I probably need it for my collection. It's probably an upgrade just because it's such a nice condition. Uh, Archie and Me number 12. This also looks to be in really high grade. Uh, this one's upside down. Archie and Me number 17. Uh, there's a little bit of damage on the... It looks like there's a price tag on it, but it's not too bad. Uh, Archie and Me, number 26. Decent shape. Okay, so this was a condition win so far, I think. Archie's Joke Book, 189. Really nice looking condition. Uh, Life with Archie, 124. Also in nice shape. These are all looking to be like minimum 5 to like 8, maybe. Maybe even 9 on a couple of them. Really happy with this. Uh, Archie, 226. Life with Archie, number 65. Jughead's Jokes, 31. Jughead, 191. That one's a little bit lower grade, but still not terrible. Uh, Life with Archie, 84. A little bit of a lower number. That's awesome. Love 12 cent Archie's. Uh, Archie's Joke Book, 160. Jughead, 207. 
Uh, Archie 163, nice earlier issue. Uh, not, you know, it's a little bit lower grade, but probably still like a four or five. So that's actually not too bad. Uh, Regging Me number 46. Yeah, lots like this. When I'm looking for Archie stuff, if I can find a lot like this with some earlier Silver Age and like the newest is maybe just like some early 70s, I'm really happy with that. So we have Archie's Joke Book number 185. Awesome cover. Love that one. Uh, Archie's Joke Book for 49. Archie 170, awesome cover, and it looks like to be in pretty decent shape too. Wow, yeah, I'm happy with that. That is awesome. Archie 168, yeah, these 12 set Archies are amazing. Uh, Pep 256, Jughead 206, Jughead 106, that is cool. Earlier issue, not in the best shape, but still, it's older, it's a little bit more acceptable. Beetle Bailey, I don't know the number, it looks like a UK variant. Uh, Life with Archie, number 61. This one's a little bit more beat up, but a beautiful cover. Absolutely love that one. Uh, Jughead, 142. Looks to be in really nice shape. Yeah, a little bit weird. It's probably like a 6 or 7. That one's awesome. And uh, Archie's Joke Book, number 192. Okay, I'm really happy with that lot. It was definitely a condition win. Okay, this is a slab comic book I bought cheap on eBay. It was $46 total. And uh, I forget what it was. I just thought it was like a fun comic book for the price. Okay, let's open up and see what's inside. All right, this is good. They used one of those My Comic Shop uh, graded comic mailers inside the box. So pretty decent shipping. Okay, so this was uh, New Mutants number 13, the Wernick Virgin variant. Very cool variant. Love the cover. The store exclusive. So honestly, this probably would have cost $30 new. So $40 shipped Graded 9.8 was a great price. Really happy with that. Gorgeous cover. Ooh, that was a ton of fun. I love opening up a whole bunch of boxes like this. I'm going to keep trying to crank out some videos just because I'm having fun and the algorithm is promoting the videos. So that makes me want to do more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.